Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. And in today's video, I have something very, very special. Um, this is my second Sugar Muses box. Um, this is for June 2022. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to share some drawings with you that I have been doing. This is the only art I've been doing. And let's get into the box. I'm really, really excited. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? So I just been doing some really cool watercolors on paper, something really, really simple, uh, more for my mental health after what happened. Um, again, I really like this one. Um, you know, I had the apartment fire, so I've just been doing some watercolor drawings with the uh, Tonic Studios, the Aquaflow pens. Um, I was going to do a little haul on those, but that was a long time ago, so, and I needed to use them. So anyway, so my first Sugar Muses box was for Beltane, and I had it literally for four days, um, until the fire happened. So that kind of sucks. So I lost all of that. So I'm really, really excited, um, for this box. And my altar looked really, really gorgeous with the items and in the Beltane box. And unfortunately, I would have showed you a picture, but like an idiot, I never took a picture. All right. So this is what it looks like when we open it up. And the theme is sun signs. So what does it say? Um, Sabbath Letha, Summer Solstice, Midsummer, Element of Fire, Spells and Rituals, Fire Magic, Solar Magic, Success and Personal Power Spells, Tools, Bonfires, which we won't be doing, Sun, um, Wheel, Stone Circle, and Candles. So... On June 21st, 2022, the sun moves into the sign of Cancer at 5.14 uh, a.m. That's Eastern, I don't know, time, whatever, D. I don't know. I'm, I'm used to standard time. Uh, marking the beginning of summer. The summer solstice, also called Midsummer and Letha, is the longest day and shortest night of the year. And it is a potent time to set intentions and up the manifestation factor on important goals. Depending on, on your individual spiritual path, there are many different ways to celebrate Letha or Midsummer, but the focus is generally centered on paying homage to the sun. As a great fire festival, it was celebrated by jumping bonfires to promote good luck. Fairies were often enticed with the scent of flowers and offerings of honey. June's full moon is known as the honeymoon and hand fasting pagan weddings are often held at this time. It is a time to expect the unexpected and allow yourself to believe that wishes really come true because there's powerful magic in the air. And then you have all, I love this printed here. It says all the information. And then let's see what we got here. All right, so that is like, you know, uh, rituals and stuff, which I am not sharing because I feel like, you know, you should really get the box for that. All right, so let's move my drawings out of the way. <coughs> oh. Sorry, guys, that may be uh, background noise. All right. Remember, I live in the studio now, so. So here is this beautiful artwork. And it's sun signs. So you have all of the information about all the different signs. It's a really beautiful card. We'll put that up there. And then you have information about Letha. And it has the element of fire, the date, the types of crystals, incense, oils, animals, gods, herbs, flowers, planet, and the goddesses. That's really beautiful. We'll put that up there. All right. So 
And there's a really pretty seal over here. And let's see what it says. All right. Hold on. Let's get this out. Oh, okay. So this is um, an oracle or a um, tarot pull. Ah, oh, this is perfect. It says beginnings. Daffodil and violet copper. So, of course, let's see. Enchanted. I guess that's called the Enchanted Blossoms uh, deck. And that is um, perfect for me. Obviously, I am doing new beginnings right now. That's gorgeous. All right. So, I'm really excited. Okay. Wow. This is gorgeous. Okay, let's bring that a little down. All right. So, the first thing I see is some red clover i just got some red clover in another box i guess you know this is really good for this time of year all right that's our herb really pretty okay i'm really excited i don't know what to get for. okay so the next we have some herbal tea and that is cinnamon apricot really nice caffeine free oh cool it has some info on the back nice and you get a nice amount and by the way i love their packaging it's really really gorgeous all right and underneath what is this okay so this is a little success uh spell which again you know um i am not sharing because you know I think it's fair. And also, like I said, I just found out that some of these are copyrighted. So, you know. All right. So what is in here? We got a little uh, beautiful, beautiful sachet. And this says mica on it. Ah, well, all my mica was destroyed. So I need some mica in my life. So that's great. Okay. Let's see, what are they talking about? I think they're talking about a stone, not... All right, I thought it was... Oh, wow. Um, holy crap, this is beautiful. Okay. Wow. That is really, really gorgeous. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're going to put that little guy there. All right. Let's see. Next, we have... This is Radiance Botanical Ritual Salts. That is what it looks like. Hold on. Let's smell it. Hold on. That's what it looks like there. Ah, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I have no idea what that smells like, but it's really, really pretty. Hold on one second, guys. Alrighty, I am back. So next up, we have a Letha Botanical Candle. This is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Holy crap. This is gorgeous. This is amazing. Oh, wow. That's, to me, smells a little very lemony. Um, I could be wrong, but that's what it smells like to me. It's like very, very, very fresh and like citrus. Which makes sense because summer has a lot of citrus um, fruits. So let's back this up a little bit. All right, we're gonna take a look. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And I'm not a summer person. I really can't take the heat, but this is really beautiful. Okay, let's bring all this beautiful stuff down here. Okay, all right. So, next up is 
this beauty right here. It looks like a bracelet. And yeah, I really can't wait to start doing some hauls uh, with uh, like art supplies and stuff. I am really looking forward to that. So this is again, beautiful, beautiful packaging, just gorgeous. And then we have this beautiful bracelet. Let's see what it says. Anything? No. Nope. That is absolutely gorgeous. All right, cool. Let's put that there. Whoops. All right, put that there. Okay, what? Oh, wow. There's a lot more, guys. All right. Awesome. So we have more herbs. We have some chamomile. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff so we can see. Holy wow. Um, there's a lot more in here. Oh my, oh my God. Okay. Wow. There's a lot more in here. Holy crap. Okay. I am so happy because I had one of these, but it was much smaller. A uh, candle snuffer and I really wanted another one because um, you know usually you shouldn't blow out your candles you should snuff them out um, and I've read that oh look hold on there is a beautiful pentacle on there as well that is so cool I'm really really happy wow this box is amazing and I'm not even I'm blown away. All right. And remember this, this box is only is every other month. So this wouldn't be available to buy uh, July 1st, and but it'll be for August. So just letting you know. And then we have the little reusable tea bags right here, which I love. And then, okay. Oh, nice. Oh my God, that's beautiful. We have lemongrass incense, beautiful. I really love her packaging and just like the theme. Wow, that's really, really strong. And I, I, I like that. It's really potent. I love that, it's gorgeous. Okay. All right, there, I mean, this box is amazing. Okay, what is in here? Sorry, guys. Okay. Yes. So this is Radiance Botanical Oil. Does it say Summer Blend? And it has, what does it say? Sun, bergamot, sun, tea, and lemongrass. I mean, the packaging is just, I, I keep on harping on it because it's just and here's the info on the back sorry my nails are crap but nothing i can do about it <laughs> beautiful 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 okay i think this should be the last item and this is magnificent holy crap all right this is amazing wow does it say so in the back it says sugar muses 2022 so this is a huge altar tile this is I i'm blown away by this this is gorgeous um i am no way look at that that is absolutely beautiful wow all right so let's see Anything else? Okay, so this is more ritual stuff. Anything about the items in the box? Hold on. Let's see. Really? Huh, okay. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory. I guess the because a lot of this stuff is about, well, you know, I'll just read this. 
Um, these are things you can do. You could purify yourself. You could set up your altar. You purify your space. You could cast a circle, call the quarters, invoking deities, blessing, a protection. And you do, and this is like some energy spell work here. Um, you can, okay, so here is the red clover. Okay, here's the stone. Okay, the red clover. Use with the success spell right here. Um, please refer to the spell card. Red clover can be added to sachet bags to promote positive energy and to draw abundance and success into your life. And then you have the raw muscovite mica. Use it with the success spell. Refer to the spell card. This gemstone may be used in magic to enhance visions, um, improve intuition, and for manifesta manifesting intentions. And this is this beauty, right? I mean, this is this box is absolutely magnificent. Um, anything else? Okay, then the, this is Serpentine, the bracelet right here, because I was wondering about that. So that is Serpentine Stone. Then you have the art print um, right here, the art prints. And then you have the other one. Hold on, I'm coming. All right, the beautiful guys right there. What else? Um, do, do, do. Oh, yeah, the intuitively drawn oracle card, which is here, which is literally perfect for me. Um, I don't know if everyone got beginnings, but I think it I think everyone gets a different card. And what else? Yeah, so that is what they explained in the box. Yeah, so I am really excited. This is absolutely gorgeous. I was dying to get another one. Um, I'm really, really happy with this. Guys, what do you think about this beautiful box? Um, what? How are you celebrating the summer solstice? I really enjoyed the super full moon the other night. It was really, really beautiful. It was kind of hard to see in New York because of all the buildings and like all the light pollution. Um, but this is, I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, whoops, sorry guys. Absolutely gorgeous. It just, I can't even, I, I'm speechless. Um, my first Sugar Muses box was absolutely amazing. It was unfortunate that I lost it, but you know what? We have to go to new beginnings and just start over again. And yeah, let me know what you are doing for the summer. Even if you don't celebrate, you know, Letha or the summer solstice, what are you doing this summer? Tell me in the comments below. Um, again, I am going to get back into art when I can. Um, I just wanted to share with you a couple of drawings that I did in you know, a while. I was kind of moving around and I was living with family, but now I'm a little more settled. Um, I can get back into it. I just literally have to buy all new stuff. Like all my pouring stuff is gone, you know, so it's basically like building from the beginning again. But I am going to come back with uh, more beautiful boxes. I do have the Midnight Muses, which is a smaller box. And I believe that's every month, but I'm not sure. But this is definitely every other month. This is amazing. I am absolutely in love with it, uh, even though I can't stand summer in the heat. But this is just beautiful. Um, I, I don't know what to say. It's gorgeous. So let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Thank you for being here today. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.